This is Minecraft, but it gets scary at night. Everything was normal during the Minecraft day, but as soon as the clock hit 1 a.m., everything changed. From animals turning into wars, to Minecraft myths, to even a scary moon. My goal is to make my friend's Minecraft night into the scariest experience possible, but if he survives, I lose $1,000. So, how will I be making Minecraft scary? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so this is my friend Grazer. Hey, Nestor. So, he doesn't know that everything changes at 1 a.m., and I told him he needs to download this Minecraft mod to test the time. I made. Okay, first, let's get the clock set up that he thinks he's testing, and it works! So you see this area over here? That's where I plan to begin. Let's just load the schematic, paste it in, and we got a village! This is gonna get a lot scarier at night, but they're gonna think they're playing normal Minecraft, so I'm gonna tell them to build a house right about here. Watch this. There we go. And his instructions are clear. To test, timer, build, house. Nice and simple. Let's get some glowing sack real quick and make it very inviting with some glow and a yellow tint. Nice. Now let's give him some stuff he needs. It's not going to be an easy experience, so we'll give him some basic tools and all the wood he'll ever need. All right, let's put these guys in. Should be good enough. And after that, the rest is up to him. So now for the fun part. This place needs a lot more mobs. That should be a lot better. And so now for what happens at 1 a.m. Let's just use this command right here. And now we have the coder item, which we use to edit things. So for example, let's start with the cow. And so now we're on block bench and what we're pretty much making is what's going to happen to the cow at 1 a.m. And I'm thinking something completely different than normal. So let's go ahead and start fresh. All right, we'll start by building the base of the body and stacking it up to its neck. I know it looks basic, but trust the process, guys, because next up is the head. A nose in the base for the horns. Now let's get him a fancy big nose ring and we're going to go for kind of a minotaur vibe here. And next up, the horns. Some massive ones that curve forward to show you don't want to get him angry. Now let's flip that. Okay, time for some arms. Let's start with the big old shoulder. And now let's build all the way down to a big old fist. Another duplication to the other side, just like the horn. And now we're going to use a neat trick one of my modeling friends taught me. Since a Minecraft cow's arms and legs are the same thing, we're just going to copy his arm and move it down to his hips to start his legs. It, it's kind of goofy, but it works. But now with the legs, let's add some iconic cow udders. Perfecto. That should be a decent enough base model. So let's get some colors down for a texture. A nice brown color to start. And now the horns, ring, eyes, and hooves. And finally, last but not least, the udders. Now let's polish up his texture. Okay, real quick, while I was texturing, I had the great idea. We need the super scary mouth onto this guy. It's the first scary thing. Next, we'll add an old tooth texture and add in a nice row of razor sharp teeth. Perfect. Let's finish this up and add some animations. And there he is, our finished scary cow. I think it's solid start, guys. And this is only the first thing at 1 a.m. Oh, and I added a surprise. So you guys will want to see what actually comes out. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And now for the code, where it's a simple mutated cow, where the health is 20 and the damage is five because we want to start 1 a.m. a little bit easier. But here's the important part, guys. It will transform at 1 a.m and it's going to roar, charge, and shoot milk at Grazer. The roar is actually terrifying, but that should be good in three, two, one. And now we got him, but it's not his time yet. Oh my gosh, that noise, holy. So that's only mob number one for 1 a.m. Next, let's do something weird. We're doing the wait. Let's right click you. And okay, guys, this one I know is a little out there, but just hear me out. We're going to be adding this fake block of dirt underneath it and really do our best to sell that it looks vanilla. Now, we only want to start with the top half of the dirt and you'll see why in a second. The bottom half is going to be another slab of dirt and it's like, this so we can open it up for a massive mouth. Now, what uses a mouth without some creepy teeth? Let's line them up, look and sharp, and now let's add some texture to him now. I like it. Now let's add some eyes and a little detail to his mouth, and I went ahead and animated him. He's a jumper! And we can't forget the scare animation, which is gonna happen when Grazer goes up to him. Alright, this should be good. Time to code him up in 3, 2, 1, and this is the mutated wheat, where it's gonna be low health and uh, pretty much not that much damage, but its main skills and goal is to transform at 1am, slime bounce, and bite Grazer, and use him as fertilizer if needed. I think this is solid. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And now we have it. And now it should be set up. You guys will see what happens at 1 a.m. But pretty much, I'll show you guys right here. It is fake wheat. Where when he walks up to it, he's gonna get chopped. So that's cow done. We done. Let's do an easy one now. Mr. Villager. Let's go up to him with the coder. So this one's gonna be very simple, guys. We're just gonna be grabbing the code and model from the previous scary video we did with Calvin. Yep, this guy right there. He's very terrifying. He's gonna get the job done. And I think he's gonna get him a good scare. So all we gotta do is drop him into the server and just to confirm in three two one and now buddy should be ready and we have so many of them i've coded it so a grazer either has to survive the night or kill all the mobs hopefully it makes a good base and speaking about his base if you look around him there's a lot of trees that's what we're doing next so real quick let's go up to this nice little tree right here and right click and so now guys we're actually gonna cheat again a little with our tree buddy here because we actually can just reuse a scary tree we made last video that we did with calvin and look at him he is terrifying and i think he'll definitely get the job done let's click confirm 
transform quickly on this one and get to the code where it's going to be a little bit different where he needs to transform at 1 a.m. and attack Razor only if not seen. So when he looks at the tree, it's going to be completely normal, even though everything's going to be attacking him. All right, let's go and confirm in three, two, one. And now the tree should be ready. It looks like a normal tree, but trust me, it's not. And yes, it has a jump scare. Now let's just speed through the three last ones. I want to do the wolf, the cat, and the pig. You three guys, let's do a speed run round. Right click. I decided to pretty much make an abomination of a pig. This guy is going to be doing so many jump scares that I don't think Grazer is going to be ready. And of course, it's 1 a.m. abilities. Next up, we did the wolf, where the wolf is going to be a giant dude. I spent a long time polishing this guy, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it. We got to be quick though, because we're running out of time before it hits 5 p.m. Let's go confirm 3, 2, 1. And next up, we have the cat, which I decided to just bring in a big old model for him, where he has some cool purple glowing stuff. I was in a little rush of this one, but this one's special where they have a very loud screech when they transform at 1 a.m. But let's go confirm, and now they should be good. As you can tell, it is 1.30 p.m. I am running out of time. But with all this done, that should be 1 a.m. done. Now let's go to the future and get to when Grazer actually hits 1 a.m. Grazer, welcome, buddy, to the mod test of the timer. Do you have it set up? Uh, I do. I have a timer on my screen right now, Nestor. All right, perfect. So I did tell you, you're going to play Minecraft for a long time today. But all I need you to do is do what the sign says, okay? Just build a house and I'm going to be back around 1 a.m. Is that okay. fine with you? You can take breaks. You can go eat. All that good stuff. All right. So you want me to build a house and at yes. 1 a.m. you're going to come and look at my house. Yes. That, that's all I needed to do. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to leave now. We'll record your entire time. Have okay. fun. Um, make some friends and that, that's it. Good luck. Sounds good. And so now for the fun part where he's just going to build. Let's check in on our friend at 1 a.m. A few moments later. Grazer! Come out, buddy. It is about to be 1 a.m. How has the mod been? Uh, I mean, pretty good. I've been playing for like six hours and this is the house I made. So Wait, did you play for six hours straight? You have full diamond. Okay. I, you could have taken breaks, buddy. Well, I mean, now I guess I'm prepared and I have a nice house. Come check it out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. You got the two floors. That being said, I needed to go outside right now because okay. it just hit 1 a.m. Do you know what that means, buddy? It's You're late. You're not done with the challenge. Uh, no? Well, Whoa! welcome to what is that? But it gets scary at night. Good luck, buddy. Wait, Everything around you has been preparing to fight against you. Oh my gosh, buddy is fighting for his life over there. Get back to your house. Get back to your house. Go, 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 go. What in the world? Oh, Dude, they got in the house. Goodness. All right, Grazer. Come to the window. I'm right here. I'm your friend. Okay. All right, Grazer. How are you feeling? This was the true challenge. You have been preparing this whole time for what is a thousand dollar challenge where if you survive the night till 6 a.m., you get $1,000. 1000 Yes. I mean, dude, my heart is pounding right now. So you can either wait till 2 a.m., play another hour of Minecraft, or you kill everything around you and I'll make it to 2 a.m. quick. Have fun. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this is a good thing I got geared in the end. I have to kill these guys. They look like they're pigs. Just die. Get out of my house. I don't want anything to do with you. Uh, okay. Grazer, careful of the cows. Uh, oh, yep, yep, they're going all after you. Oh, uh, yep, 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 That's yep. That's a cow? How's your health looking? Uh, not too bad. It's actually pretty good that I got geared because otherwise I would be dead right now. Dude, that has to stop happening. Oh, he's running for his life. Look at him go. Why is there a wolf? Wait, is that my wolf that I had? Yes. No, I killed my wolf. Grazer, you did it. You killed pretty much all of them. Perfect. Pretty much. What do you mean pretty much? Well, I need you to go do one more thing. Come over here. You see this farm right here? I, I just need you to run through it. And if you complete this, you will get to the <gasps> next thing. Go! Okay, go, 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 go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. All right. You did it. Congratulations, Grazer. <sighs> So that is only the first stage done with 1.20 a.m. Let's go back to Past Nestor and see what I did for 2 a.m. Okay, time to set up 2 a.m. If he survives this far, I have a very good idea. You see all these houses right here? We're gonna make it scarier. So first, we gotta go to Warp Void. And right here, it's literally just the void. But if we just load the schematic and paste it in, we have a normal house. Look at it. With this house, we're gonna change all the houses in the village. So let's real quick do this. And there we go. It's not the scariest thing, but it gets the job done. But not only that, I plan one more build for 2 a.m. I have to make it this far. So obviously we have that for the village, but we also need this that I got made. Let's just load it in and paste it in. Here it is. This is the altar of death, which is going to come in handy when I show you guys what we're going to do. So obviously the village looks pretty normal right now, but when I right click this, we get the scary version. So at 2 a.m., all 
all this is being pasted. And up here is where all the main content's gonna be. And so now Grazer's goal is to not only not get scared, but he needs to rise all the way up here and put things into this. This is the altar I had made by a friend. And with the altar, he needs to put in all these relics, including the final skull. So he'll just right click it. So let's find some spots to put it. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna put down item frames and the items will be there. For example, the skull will be the first one there. Let's put number two here, another one there. A difficult one is gonna be right here. One there, we'll make this one easy outside the house. And finally, the last one on the weird log right there. That should be all seven relics done. But that's not the scary part. Because it's 2 a.m. and we already used all the mobs, it's time we make something giant and even scarier. Time to code. Okay, so for our next gear, we're gonna start with Alex. It's 2 a.m. and my goal is to not lose $1,000. So first thing is we gotta make Alex giant. Let's white out her eyes. And next, cover and catch up. Now let's give her a massive scary mouth. It's like our signature thing at this point. And now let's get some help from a friend because we're running out of time. Okay, guys, she's here. She's scary. She's covered in ketchup and she's ready to creepily scare at Grace. Now let's go to Ray. And this is Giant Ketchup Alex. With the health being infinite, speed slow, where the main skill is just to stop around randomly and scream randomly and ultra smash at Grazer. And one thing I'm adding too is I'm gonna be able to control her. Let me show you guys what I mean in three, two, one. And we got her! This right here is the Giant Ketchup Alex! Oh my goodness! And as you can see, she destroys stuff where we can right click and literally control her. Oh my goodness, do you guys hear the stomps? This is incredible. And this is only for 2 a.m. Let's keep going. All right, Alex, let me put you away for now. Okay, so if he gets caught by giant Alex, he loses. That being said, I don't think that's enough. So we're gonna do two more mobs, starting with the Enderman. Well, this guy right here, he's not menacing enough. Let me real quick right click him. And now it's time to make probably the scariest mob in the game and turn it up a notch. So with the Enderman being our base, let's start by first making him taller by first moving his head up. Next, let's go ahead and black out his body and give him a creepier face. We'll make it glow in the dark later. Now to give it some animation. I'll be right back. Okay, I got some help from a friend. He made it a lot better, but we went ahead and extended all his limbs and made them really wiggly. I like it. I think it suits him. Let's go ahead and click confirm in three, two, one. And this is the Night Stalker, where he's gonna be very fast and his skills are to stalk Razor, teleport randomly, and devour Grazer if behind. If he gets fully devoured, not only do I not lose a thousand dollars, but something crazy happens. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got the Night Stalker. Let me show you guys what he is. Oh my goodness. He's a little goofy looking, but trust me at night, it's terrifying. All right, thank you, buddy. Time for the last one for 2 a.m. Because I put schools all over the place, why don't we do some ghosts also? So for example, if we right click this guy right here, it's not gonna be the skeleton, but let's start with good old Steve. We'll black out his eyes and give him a massive mouth with lots of teeth. Now let's turn down the saturation a ton. And next up, let's make him transparent like a proper ghost. Now the most important part, a scary animation for when Grazer goes up to them. Perfect. Let's get to the code in three, two, one. And now this is the creepy ghost where they won't have any health and a question mark amount of damage. And the skills are of course to scream at Grazer if nearby, teleport randomly if nearby player, and to act creepy. Really, it's a distraction so Giant Alex gets to Grazer and so we don't lose $1,000. So let's click confirm in three, two, one. And we got it, the creepy ghost. As for what it does and how it looks, just wait till Grazer goes through it. All right, buddy. Uh, oh, yep, 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 sorry about that. And so now that should be everything complete. I'll be adding all the mobs in different places if he makes it to 2 a.m. And if Grazer manages to put all seven relics in here, he's gonna get a special prize to make the next hour a little bit more manageable. Anyways, back to future Nestor. All right, Grazer, it is time for 2 a.m. How are you feeling, buddy? You ready? Honestly, not too bad. That first one wasn't that hard. I did it in like 20 minutes, so. Oh, he's a little cocky. Okay, okay, just saying. I will give you your instructions very soon, but remember, 6 a.m., you make it $6,000. Three, two, one. Welcome Find the to relics. the 2 a.m. What in the world village. is that thing? So that right there is Scary Alex. You don't want to be seen by them. Your goal right now is to go from house to house and get relics okay. so you can put it on that big thing in the sky. You see it up there? I You're do. gonna stack up all the way up there. Okay. And uh, when you do that, you know, you'll get stuff. Okay. That being said, I'd hurry up. Go get your relics. Okay, okay, okay. Because I am not trying to lose $1,000 and okay. I am now in control oh! of Scary Alex. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Okay, that's one relic. I think there's like a couple of these relic here. Okay, just make sure he doesn't see me. I don't think he sees me right now. What is that? I don't like this stupid Enderman. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop it. You're going to reveal my position, man. Just saying you're limited on time. How many relics you got so far, Grazer? I only have one relic. Well, you better hurry up, man. Oh! Okay, okay. Second relic. Second relic. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Hey, oh! Right, Grazer, you got to run. You got to run. Scary Alex is literally on its way to you. Why are this? Okay, leave, 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 leave. Relic, relic, relic. Did you get the most important relic yet, by the way? I, I, I don't believe so. Not yet. Okay, so I am helping you here. You did get the most important relic. Okay, you got the so relic head yeah. and two relics. You okay. need four more in total. Be careful of Scary Alex right there, though. Oh, gosh. 
Okay, no, 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 scary Alex, scary Alex, scary Alex. Where are you? No, 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 don't, don't break scary the sound. Scary Alex break is coming. Go, 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 Razor no, no. going no, no. well, no, but I no, see no. you, buddy. No, I'm no, coming no, for no, you. no, no. How many relics are you on? I only have three. I need three more. That thing is terrifying. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. Oh, here's another relic. Okay. Ah! Dude, get out of my screen, bro. Okay, there's scary Alex. Oh, oh. Where's the last relic? Come on, where's this one more relic? Where is it? Where is it? Where's What's it your going? thoughts, by the way, on here, Brian? I hope that he doesn't show up, but I think I've seen him already. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, come on, Grazer, I'm coming. I need that final relic. No, 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 no. I'm coming, buddy. You don't want to be squashed by scary oh, Alex. Final relic. Got it, got oh no, 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 you okay. found it. Okay. Oh the Alex? wait. Are oh those gosh, more there's, people? More, there's more farm things. No, don't want that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get up to this. Okay, thing. now with all the relics, I am gonna help you a little bit because I can't get to you up there with scary Alex. <sighs> You gotta get to the top, and there might be something for you up there. Right. Are you ready for what's there? I think. Yeah. Is there anxiety there? Are you a little worried? I mean, nah. Oh! Okay, yes, maybe. Okay, okay. We'll just go forward, buddy. Right. And in seven minutes, you did this pretty well. That is the altar where you're gonna be putting all the relics and getting a reward. Okay. Are you ready? I am. I will do that. All right, do your thing. And after this, we get to 3 a.m. All right, Grazer, you just gotta do the rest of the relics. Two, three. Oh, this looks so cool. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, and here it comes. What's going on? You get a reward. And now you're done with 2 a.m. So if you walk into it, what in the that world? is your brand new weapon. A mega sword. Ooh, this actually looks really the cool. The mega sword. So this, this was made for you where okay. you're gonna be needing it for 3 a.m. Because it's gonna get harder. So, Mr. Grazer, give me one sec. Let's go back to past nester to see what i set up well that probably didn't work so time for 3 a.m we're gonna be focusing on combat want some fear of course we're all we're gonna focus on is this head right here let me show you guys what i'm thinking let's right click you and so now we have steve our goal right now is to make a giant version of steve that is focused on scares and combat so let's make him evil and just white out his eyes don't worry though this guy is the boss so we'll give him some fancier eyes soon now let's scale him up very big now guys i learned another trick from my modeler friend and we're gonna add these boxes around him for some cool effects. Let's get a blank texture and add some purple lightning to it and we'll polish this up at the end and make it look great. Next, I'm gonna take this cloak I found online and layer over here, Brian, so he has this dark and spooky vibe to him. Now, I'm gonna take this texture and scale it up a bit. First, I'll give his eyes kind of a spiky white look. Next, just some purple spots all over him. I think this is a solid start. Let me send this off again to my friend who's gonna help me save a lot of time. Okay, this is looking insane. This is scary, but not in a jump scary way. More of a wow, this guy means menses. But I have a plan for that because this guy's only the boss. So, let's go to the code. And this will be Supreme here, Brian. Where they're going to have a boss bar with 250 health and a secret amount of damage, which hopefully does enough because they're getting pretty OP. Their size is going to be huge with scariness being to the top. Where we're going to have him flow ominously, summon random here, Brian's, and take damage on minion death. Let me show you guys what I mean by clicking confirm in 3, 2, 1. This is Supreme here, Brian. Look how big he is. And he will be the boss of all the scary here, Brian's. And, and yep, that's a sneak peek to what he does. Let's get rid of him real quick. And he's going to spawn at 3 a.m. for Grazer to survive. But you might be thinking, that wasn't really scary. I got a fix for that. So now we're gonna make four brand new hero binds, each meant to scare him a lot. So Premier Brian will probably spawn here. And each one of these, probably there, 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 and there. Let me show you guys what I mean with number one. Okay, for the first hero bind minion that Supreme Hero Bind has, we're gonna start with scary hero bind. First, let's get our signature scary mouth going. And next, we're gonna give this man some fingers. And of course, the multiple arms. I'm thinking six of them. And now with the idea across, I'm gonna send this to a friend again to save some time and get the scary hero Brian look that we've known to love. Oh, yep, that is what we needed. The way the arms swing around when running, this is perfect. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And now for the code. This is, of course, scary hero Brian, where their health is gonna be 25 and damage five and their speed very fast. And the main skills for this one, because it's the scary one, is to jump scare Grazer on attack, claw Grazer, and bite him. And of course, we've got to add some random screams and screeches on attack. That's only hero Brian number one. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And for number one, we have Scary Irvine. How's it going, buddy? Very nice. All right, it's done. On to number two. Let's click you. We're actually going to start with here, Brian Sexure. I'm going to give him different eyes, though, because I think that'll be the best way to simply add something. We're going to give him this red look and then copy it over to the other eye, just like that. Now that the model's done, we're going to have the animations here really carry us home. We'll lean him forward and get his legs ready like he's mid ninja sprint. It's looking great. Let's go confirm and get this guy coded. So, this is going to be fast here, Brian, where his speed 
speed is super fast. And his skills are to jump scare Grazer on attack and to leap back Grazer with also an awful hit. I'm liking it. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. Look at him. Okay, we're running out of time. Let's get rid of him. In time for number three. Let's go to you real quick. So we're gonna start with our scary six arm guy and start by chopping some arms off. We'll take a leg too. Next, let's take his teeth. Don't worry. He's not gonna gum Grazer to death. We're gonna replace them. And that starts by first making a circle in Minecraft. Yep. I'll show you what it is for in a second. It's gonna be his mouth. Just trust the process. Now for teeth. And it looks rough, but let me clean him up. There we go. Just like that, we have a Razor Mouth. Let's animate these teeth to spin now. Perfect. And now, some polish. Yeah, maybe too much with the ketchup, but it's all good. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And the main skills for this guy is gonna be to jump scare Grazer on attack, vampire bite Grazer, and life steal on attack. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. Look at this guy. He looks pretty friendly. Yep. Thank you for your service. All right. For the last minion, let's do a crawling zombie here, Brian. So first, let's start by removing some limbs, you know, for a zombie look. And now let's work on his texture. We gotta make his skin green and a little bit more ketchup. Let's add some bones. And I think a skull would suit him well. Yeah, that's solid. But it's not fully done without the animations. I think this crawling monster will be sure to scare Grazer. Enough talking though. Let's go confirm in three, two, one, and start coding. Zombie here, Brian. With a little bit more health than usual. Damage five. He's gonna be a little slow because he's crawling. But if Grazer does get hit by this guy, he's gonna be jump scared and bit on the ankles. He's an ankle biter. And what that means is he gets poisoned. I think this guy will be a good addition. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And I present you half dead here, Brian. Oh, I gotta fix that boss bar. Anyways, wait till you see how he walks when he chases Grazer. Thank you for your service though. And now with those done, let's go back to future Dester and hopefully win 3 a.m. Here we go. Grazer, it is now time for 3 a.m. Do you like hey, your new sword? Cause you're I gonna need it for this do. one. It's a really epic sword, bring it. Again, as always, you have two options. Either survive the night for an hour or kill everything that's coming. I don't Good know. Good luck in three, two, one. Here we oh! go. Three a.m. Oh! This is the giant supreme here, Brian, where your goal is to fight him, but he might have a lot of minion here, Brian's coming after you I right see away. see that. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, you might need the mega sword. Oh, and you killed it in one hit. Okay, Very this sword well is done. pretty sick, actually. This might not be as hard as I thought. This oh, I, I, I may have given you too much damage on the sword. I should probably up the health of everything. Oh, gosh, this is a bad idea. All right. oh, okay. I need to give some okay. distractions. Go on here, Brian's. Get him. No. Nope. Get him. Nope. nope. I got Go it. I got on. it. I think I got this. It has a lot of health. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's going crazy. Oh gosh, there's a lot of mobs everywhere. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Supreme Hero Brian, you're the only thing that's separating me from a thousand dollars. You don't scare oh me. My goodness. It's literally an army right behind you. Come on, minions. Get him, get him, get him. Dude, this megasaur is gonna kill all these freaking minions. I don't care about any of them. Get out of here. Oh, his health is going so low. Okay, he's low, he's low, he's low. Just a couple more no. hits. Uh. Oh no, th th this was a failure, guys. 3 a.m. was a failure. He's gonna finish it in three minutes. No, I have no. four hearts, I have four hearts. Back off, Grazer, back off, oh, back off, back hearts. off. Come on. Okay, okay. Come on, minions, get him. My Mega Sword might not be. Oh, it was cracked up to be. Okay, he's at like one heart. He's at one heart. I just have to hit him one time and then this should be done. Getting through all the last ones. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. He's making a run for it. He's making a run for it. Just get him one time. Just get him one time. Just get him one oh, time. Gosh. No, 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 Got no. Him. I think no. I killed him. Yes. Three oh hearts. my goodness. Well, with that being done, you gotta kill the minions. And then you're done with the knight. Ah, uh, it's so easy for him. Oh my gosh, goodness. Kill all the minions. Okay, I think I got him. I think I got them all. One last guy. Straggler Ooh, right there. Finish look at him this off. This guy. You think you're scary? Get out of here. And with that being done, Grazer, you somehow did it 3 a.m. Wow. in record time. Okay. All right, buddy. I'm going to get you this next one, and it is going to get harder and scarier. Be ready under your house. Let's get to 4 a.m., but first, let's see what Pat Nestor did. Okay, so if he makes it to 4 a.m., we need to go crazy. It is about to be 5 p.m. before he logs in, so I have an idea for under his house. So at 4 a.m., we're going to spawn something special. We're already planned for this with the builder. Let's go to the void. So for 4 a.m., let's real quick load the schematic and paste in what my friend made me. Yep. This is gonna be big. So this is gonna spawn under his house and he's gonna have to go explore with the lights out. It's gonna look crazier when Grazer goes in. So as he goes down the stairs, as you can see, we have a pretty empty area with kind of confusing rooms too. Some undead, some skeletons. It gives me some ideas, but his goal is to make it to this maze right here. Or inside the maze, he needs to make it to the very end all the way to this chest. As for what's in the chest, you'll have to wait and see what happens, but let's get to decorating this place before time runs out. So 
Oh, got my coder. Let's get straight to it. Let's right click. I got an idea earlier and it's just going to be a tombstone. Our tombstone is going to be really simple. We'll just slap together a basic shape here and make it all stone. Nothing more to it, but let's get to the code. And this is the tombstone. And the main part you guys need to pay attention to is that we're going to be summoning mutated zombies and mutated skeletons randomly with the tombstone. And because we're short for time, I'm having someone make these mutated zombies and skeletons send them to me with the main goal being death and scary. So let's click confirm and three, two, one. And now we have a tombstone where we can just place it right here and it's going to do some craziness. But we don't have much time, so I'm just going to go ahead and place them all over the place. And when Grazer comes in, you guys will see what it does. Just know that these are going to probably make him scream. Oh, oh, oh. And you might have already heard what happens. Oh, there's a sneak peek. All right, let's keep placing them in. That should be a good bit right there. But we just need one final boss here before he gets the prize. All it's going to take is our old friend, the villager. We're going to make you a lot scarier and we're too far deep for me to lose money. So let's right click you. And it's time, guys. For this villager, we're going to pull a trick on Grazer and give him two emotions, calm and crazy. Let's start with the texture. First up, we need a creepy smile. Next, some eyebrows. Can't forget the crazy eyes. And just like that, the crazy face is done. Let's adjust his model now. I went ahead and posed our guy and gave him the crazy face. So now let's give him some stabby things. Basic shape of the knife done. Time for the texture. We can't forget to give him some animations. And so what do we think? Here you can see he's normal, but with just a few clicks, he gets super creepy. And we cannot forget about the run. There we go. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And this is the crazy knife villager, where he's going to be displayed as an innocent villager, but he's going to be tough. 50 health and 10 damage. That's more than any of the hero brides. And because it is a boss, we won't give him a boss bar. His skills are to act scared if alone, go crazy if Grazer's nearby, and stabby stab. With, of course, a crazy laugh. I'm liking it. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. That being said, you'll see him when Grazer goes through. So now everything should be ready to start right under this house at 4 a.m. All right, take it away, future tester. Okay, Grazer, it is game time. In 20 <laughs> seconds, it is about to be 4 a.m. And this time, it's a little bit different. I'll explain it in 15 seconds, but are you ready? I am. All right, get ready for a lot of stuff to come and for you to explore a brand new area. Okay. Three, oh, two, one. Here we go. 4 a.m. Enter the Enter basement. Enter the basement. So turn around, buddy. Okay. And you just got to go over here. Basement of doom? I'm going to leave you now. I have a great day. Oh, but all you got to do is go down there gosh. and your mission is to grab a chest at the very end. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, no. This does not look pleasant. Just, okay. I mean, do you have a nice sense of security? I mean, you have a good sword and everything. Are you I feeling do. good? I do. I, I'm feeling confident about myself so far. As long as it's just the fair, jump fair. scares and there's no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, okay. Good, so good. there are mobs down here. I expect as much, but I got a good sword. Get rid of these guys. Endermen are annoying. Oh, no. What is this? I have to find these a chest. These are the catacombs under your house. What is that thing? Get out of my face, dude. All right, let's just find this chest and get out of here. I do not want to be down here longer the than longer I need to be. The longer you're here, the more things will spawn. Okay, okay, okay. Just find it, find it. Chest, 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 chest. Crazy villager! What in the world? No, 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 no. You are creepy. Die, 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 die. Get out of my face. Holy smokes. I hope you're doing good. At the end of the hall, though, this is where you're going to with a nice, simple Ooh. maze. Okay. Everyone likes nope. a maze, right? A maze? Oh, get, oh, get, a get maze. Careful, by the way. Yep. Get out of my face, stupid cow. Rule of thumb in mazes. Keep left. Just keep left. Just keep left. Just keep left. Oh, he's running for it. He's running for it. He's going for it. Where is your grazer gonna go? Keep to the left. Keep to the left. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Getting stuck. I don't wanna get stuck in here. Going left. Just find the chest. I just wanna find the chest at this point. I do not wanna have anything to do with these stupid I'm pigs. lucky, buddy. Another dead end. Oh, man. He might not even see the boss. Okay, okay, okay. He is going the right way. All right, please. Something show up. Okay, more skeletons. More skeletons. It's so oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Please, no. Yes, chest. Grazer, you yes. made it to the oh. chest. Protection six. Okay. Put it on, buddy. I will. And here's your final mission. You're not done, actually. Oh. Just, just not to put you on edge. Oh. But your last mission is to go to your house and meet someone there. Okay. Yeah, just go back to your house. All right. All I'll right. meet you there, buddy. All right, Grazer. Now that you're up, all that's left is to go back into Grazer HQ. Okay. Someone might be waiting in there for you. Uh, there is someone waiting. No! Ah! Go on, say hi to him. Die, die, get out of here. Fight with the crazy villager nope. and oh, oh, this might be a fight of the ages. No, 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 get out of here. He's messing with all my stuff. No, no, I, I worked so hard on this. Okay, and that is 4 a.m. done. Honestly, Ooh. you took that like a champ, man. Dude. 
So far, so good. There's only one hour left before 6 a.m. I'm gonna make sure you die in this one. I don't know. Anyways, two past Esther to see what I did. If he makes it to 5 a.m., it's time we go all out. Oh gosh, I only have 34 minutes, guys. But this is something we can make quickly. This is a zombie. Kinda basic, but with the coder, we're gonna be making this guy crazy. As you can tell, we skipped the modeling. Completely normal zombie. But with the code, we're gonna make a realistic zombie. And not just one, but thousands. If he survives the night with this one, I'm gonna be impressed. The health is gonna be basic, 20, damage five, but look at all the skills I'm about to add. They're gonna be able to climb walls, zombie pile if there's nearby zombies, break blocks if stopped, summon realistic zombies randomly, and devour brains. And they're gonna follow Grazer even if Grazer's within one million blocks. So it's gonna be impossible for him to get it away. If he survives this, it's game over for me. I lose $1,000, but we are gonna make one more plan B because we do have the time. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. So the zombies should be good to spot all around here, but if we do lose, there's one more thing we can make. At 6 a.m., he wins, and the sun's gonna be up. But just to give him one final scare, watch this. Let's right-click this, and so we're gonna get straight to the code, and it's based for itself. The moon. The type is the moon, and its skills is to crash into the planet if Grazer is alive. So this only happens at 6 a.m., and if he makes it this far, I'll still give him the money. But we gotta scare him one more time. Let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1. And with only 11 minutes in time, we have the final thing. The moon creature spawn egg, guys. I'm not gonna use it right now, but just you wait and see what happens soon. And so with all that being done, future Nestor, good luck with 5 a.m. and hopefully we win. All right, Grazer, moment of truth, 5 a.m. This is the final level. If you survive this, $1,000. I have the start thing right here for 5 a.m. And I'm just gonna say, good luck. But yes, it will get very scary. Here's a quick warning. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome 5 to 5 a.m. Zombies Let approach. the zombies approach. And these aren't your typical zombies. Okay, what's going on? The I zombies are coming. And I see things. Okay, got you it. You might want to take cover inside your house. I'm just saying uh. this is a long. One. All right. And when I say long, it's a one hour tier. One hour? This is going to be for the entire 5 a.m. And you just got to survive. For $1,000. As you can see, they can break Oh, blocks. gosh. They're breaking into my house. You are not safe. Get to your second floor, oh, buddy. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. They're coming. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. There's so many. I can block them out like this. Okay. I think it'll take some time for them to get to me up here. They're going to have to climb up. They keep spawning. As long as I don't die, I win $1,000. So I think we're okay. I just camp up here for the whole time. Let's speed this up a little bit. Wait, what is going on? They're like breaking into the house. No, 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 no. Grazer, you are surrounded. And I see you got a little nice spot there. Yeah, I don't think they can reach you. Here's me the hard here. part. You're not fully safe. Ah! No, fun. dude. Oh my. There's like a million of them. Oh my gosh. He's getting, he's getting swarmed. 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 Holy smokes. I can probably oh, like take care of a lot of goes. these guys with my epic sword. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. I can yeah. fend them off for now. Oh. Okay, this is not going to work. These guys are not going to die. Have you gone low in health at all? Uh, not quite, but I think I might have a plan here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, zombies. Hurry up, hurry up. He's okay. thinking. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of these zombies. All right. Okay, no. yeah, they can't reach me up here. No, come on, zombies. I'm up here on the altar, and I think I should be safe. I can just camp here for the next 56 minutes. You might actually make it through this. Come on, guys. Anything? Two hours later. It is 10 minutes until he wins. They're doing nothing. This was uh, easier than I thought it would be, Nestor. That wasn't too you're hard. literally chilling up here. The only thing I have left is this right here. And if you get to this, you've won the money. A thousand dollars. I'm ready. Are, are we literally just waiting? Oh my gosh. One eternity later. Grazer, I cannot believe this, but there's seconds. only 30 seconds left. These guys did nothing. Look how many zombies they are. This was the easiest one, Nestor. This was like nothing. Eight. Seven, uh, you're acting six, like it's the new year. Why five, is this? I'm losing a thousand dollars. Two, one. All right, Grazer. Yes! Congratulations. You made it to 6 a.m. Look up. I will send your money, but look up. Here it comes. What is that? This is to guarantee you die. Wait, there what? There it is. The moon. Ah! Oh, it didn't kill me. That didn't kill you? No. Round two, round two, round two. Come on, come oh, on, come gosh. on. Oh, gosh. I don't know, man. I think I've got Introducing what it takes. The giant it's just moon. the moon, bro. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, yep, 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 oh. yep, yep, yep. Well, Grazer, congratulations. You won $1,000. Let me know if you guys want to see this again. But with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. But rate one, and the video just like this one. Bye, guys.